What's happening guys, Pixel Machine here, coming back at you with a brand new Let's Play series for the PlayStation 5 and today I'm playing Silent Hill, The Short Message. I hope that you are all having a great out there and uh, let's get into this. So, this is a nice little surprise. This is a free to play short horror game from Konami and I believe that it just dropped today. Not so long after Sony's latest state of play. So again, a nice little surprise, nice little present. So let's get straight into this, let's do it. Right. Oh god. I'm guessing this game's gonna be tackling some fairly tough subjects. Okay. Just reading that there. Hopefully that might help some of you. If you're going through anything. Right. So pretty deep already. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone. And need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. <laughs> There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own. Without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. So it seems pretty damn deep already. Again, this is free to play, so you might as well go and download it. Right, so we have a message here. I want to show you something. Can you come to the villa, okay? Oh, yeah. Maya told me to come here. So, this is first person. Kind of giving me PT vibes. <laughs> right, I'm just getting a feel for the controls. Looks pretty nice. Right. So these first-person style horror games have really taken off over the last 10 or so years. There's so many of them now. So if you want to read this stuff, just pause it. didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this? Freedom. Okay. Bloody hell, I bought my ex a teddy exactly like that one for Valentine's Day. It's literally the spitting image. <laughs> Let's have a look here. Oh, wow, they're bringing the pandemic into it. The 
Everyone's losing their futures. That's all adults are. A slave to the system. Okay, so this has opened by itself. What's that? <laughs> Let's have a look here. Right, just one final look around. I think we're good. Right, let's go. I think it's like a mannequin or something. Oh no, it's a baby. It's a doll. <laughs> no exit. I'm trapped. I've always been trapped. Okay, keeping flowers in the fridge. Bit weird. Then again, I'm not a botanist, <laughs> so I wouldn't know. So here's a map. So, we're not in a, you know, an actual villa. I'm guessing that's just the name for this place, which seems to be like a tower block, maybe. I like the atmosphere, though. Right, so we've come back through here. Guessing this is locked also. Ah. Did this just open up? Maya? What does that say? Don't be something. Is it manipulated? Oh, look at that. Very nice. I like the art here. Huh. More babies. <laughs> or dolls. Oh, look at this. Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's... amazing. This city is a blank canvas. Begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls, their impulses, their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. Could I ever be proud of myself? So we have some live action bits as well. I just heard a cat, I swear. Oh no, it's a baby crying.
everyone can see how talented she is. I couldn't be more different. So there's all the graffiti cans. Nothing on the floor. Yeah, pretty nice piece. Alright, let's go and see what's happening over here. <laughs> A little laugh as well. That's funny. Now, has this door just shown up? I'm not quite sure. Can I get through it? I don't think so. Where did that head go? <laughs> right, I don't think we can get through this, no. It'll have a little indicator on it. Who's oh! There? Right, so... Sorry for the late reply, I fell asleep. Oh, so I've got some sounds coming through the controller, I believe. <sighs> okay. That's a relief. Come on, bedhead. <laughs> Oh, look at all these little post-it notes. What's with this place? Why all the sticky notes? Loser! Stupid! Liner! Crazy! Cry, baby! Ugly! I hate you, dumb! Go away! She never said anything nice. So pretty much a bunch of insults on post-it notes, or sticky notes, whatever you want to call them. Lovely. Bloody hell. Didn't sound too convincing. So is this maybe her old place? I'm not sure. Antidepressants. Taken enough medication. Yeah, this game's definitely tackling some hard and sensitive topics. You know, stuff like suicide and self-harm and you know, obviously being addicted to antidepressants and what have you. Yep. Oh. Gotta check. 
chat again. So where Anita... Right, let's head on back. See, so you have to keep looking around just in case anything's changed. Maya? Lovely. Right, so now we can go around here. Come on. Which way? Come on. <laughs> Where am I? Am I safe? The controls are a bit clunky. She's in the studio, okay. be wrong but I think you see these on doors of like or maybe like the eviction notices usually what you would see in Japan I'm not quite sure could be wrong about that one yep there's another piece of artwork cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death with most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. Why is she not replying? Come on! I have to find her. So yeah, pretty much the light burns brightest, burns the fastest. Yeah, I've forgotten what these little sticky notes are. I could be wrong about them being something to do with eviction notices. I'm not sure. I'll look it up after this. Right, so... Monster. It's gone. Where is the studio?
So it seems like we're safe for now. Can we go outside here? Yes, we can. R3. So that should zoom in. Oh, wow. So it seems like a lot of tragedies happen within this complex. Very, very big problem. Plaguing the youth. Well, not just the youth, but as it just said there, they're not really mentally equipped to take not getting the attention that they think they would online, you know, with all the likes and interactions and what have you. But you know, it does get to older people as well. We've kind of got two versions of ourselves now. We've got our offline self and our online. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's quite messed up. So we just came from here. Okay. Trash room. That's locked. Oh, creepy. Maya. I hope you're all right. She types bloody fast. doesn't get it. Gotcha. So he don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town say graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. There's no way out. Well, yeah, there's a big difference between graffiti. That are actual works of art, such as this. I would say this is a nice work of art. It looks cool to me. There's that teddy again. <laughs> but then little tags like this. They look like trashy doodles to me. But good graffiti. I love it. I actually used to run. 
an art website mainly about street art and what have you, graffiti and stuff like that. Many, many years ago now. Oh, let's go. Maya, are you here? Tell you what, this phone's got a good battery. <laughs> Is this your studio? Maya's sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. Sakura. So that is the Japanese word for cherry blossom. And then Hanami is cherry blossom viewing. They seem happy. A new life. So full of life. Why won't she reply? Where are you? Am I going crazy? Up, so that's revealed another piece. It's beautiful. Who did Maya have in mind? Did you post this too? <sighs> Even mm. more followers. did she jump from the villa? Why did she have to die? Maya's... dead? Wait... Maya's really dead? Then, who 
Who's this? Find it. Who? So, Maya is dead, and I thought that was going to be the case. But obviously, Anita has just found out. Or come to the realisation, at least. Right, let's head out of here. Hey up. Getting a bit of interference. Oh, wow. Oh! I wonder if we can actually die in these sections. Oh, crap. I like the slow frame effect for those enemies, or stop motion effects, kind of. Quite creepy. Oh, there's her masterpiece. Maya died. But her art lives on. Even more followers. is ever going to notice me. Right, was that it? Or maybe not. So it looks like we might be stuck in some kind of loop. Back at the villa? But why didn't I die? The background has changed. Mm. What the fuck? So I believe we started off in this room. There we go. It's finally died. <laughs> There's the teddy again. So round two. It's a lot darker.
So now we have some writing on the fridge. Still no exit. Maybe that'll open up right at the end. <laughs> Look at that. So yeah, we can't see in all the little nooks and crannies now. Swinging light. Okay. Those appear to be still locked. Yeah, so now we have more writing on the walls. It's all your fault. Okay. So I wonder what Anita supposedly done. I'm not quite sure yet, obviously. Oh, there's some crying. It could be those dolls again. Okay. Uh, what? Who would do this? But now it says sluts as well. Okay. There's a little more vibration in the controller now. It's kind of constant. guessing she might be like trembling or something I'm not sure was this open before no it wasn't I don't remember that dartboard with a knife right in the butt oh no oh it was in the bullseye <laughs> just the perspective there oh finally okay it's back on you uh, how could somebody do this <sighs> some people really have nothing better to do wait I bet it was these guys whoa Yep, keyboard warriors and trolls. And usually, those people have messed up lives themselves. They've got nothing really better to do. And it's weird because I grew up through the 90s, so I saw this big social shift happening. For people growing up through it now, this is quite weird because that's all they know. Can we vault over this? No, nope, it's not Call of Duty. <laughs> But for me, I can kind of ignore it a little. It doesn't affect me as much, but I guess for kids growing up now, in this day and age, it must be quite tough not to have some kind of decent online social presence when maybe all their friends do and they're popular and what have you and get lots of clicks and followers and stuff, you know. Because a lot of people just want to get some kind of validation while they're online and what have you. I think I've read that one, haven't I? And 
And it's a place where you can this is portray yourself like as before. something as someone different as well. So you can live like a, a double life, so to speak. You're so good to me, but you're leaving me behind. Did Maya really not say anything? Like, at all? So what'd you think of the book? The author killed themselves when they were young. Something beautiful from something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking right before they died. Anyway, I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kind of like that, though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. I can't wait to read more. Let's just have a little check in here. So this door is now opened. Cool, okay. You want food? Do what I say. So I believe that this is the abusive stepmother. I could be wrong. Yeah, quite a deep game, not as in terms of gameplay, but, you know, the subjects, topics, themes. So we've seen this. Don't believe we've been in here yet. So two mattresses on the floor. are talking about fortune telling a lot of people are getting into that huh you don't believe in that stuff well I think there's something real about it my great-grandmother was a fortune teller I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great-grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures. But 
not your own. The crane's there. I think I've read this. Uh huh. This is also giving me big Ghostwire Tokyo vibes as well. Oh, here's some tarot cards. Tarot cards. No point predicting my future. Hmm. Well, it seems like we're stuck in a loop at the moment, so uh, looks like we're going to be coming back. Ah, so here's the trash room. We couldn't get in here before. Lovely. All right, nothing else. for the college Amelie wants to go to. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. <sighs> so it is saving the notes, okay.
I always wonder if these are AI generated or they're actually real people. <laughs> Oh, pizza. I would love one right now. <laughs> oh, get stuck. So it's all, yeah, so it looks like her parents were having a bit of trouble. not like this though right hey up <laughs> the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. These are some lovely posters. Is that Batman? Summit man. <laughs> I think whatever. So we've been in there. Let's carry on. Right, so that's just opened. It's like room 101. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go down here quickly. But that appears to be locked at the end there. I could have come down this way. Maybe. Yeah, like a humming. That does say CB on it, so is that Maya's room? I'm not sure. Can't go inside. Yeah, I think more companies should do things like this. Make, like, little free-to-play experiences, and then that'll put the franchise kind of on people's radars. So, obviously, if loads of people download this just because it's free, even if they didn't really enjoy it that much, they'll at least know about Silent Hill. So, when any future games come out, they might still give them a look. Who knows? But this seems to be pretty good so far. It's got me grips anyway. School. 
and it's not very often that we have games deal with more modern issues or current issues. So these are like spirits, maybe? I'm not sure. Whoa. Okay. Go away! So it's like Sprite, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Freak. No wonder nobody likes you at school. Jesus. So we can't go through there. Ah. What the hell? Get out, you freak! Slut! You're our fucking weird! You're a freak, cocky piece of shit! So we're now starting to see the words. Crazy. Shut your whore mouth. Ugly. Get out, you freak. Jesus. Getting pretty trippy. Oh crap, there we go. Oh, look at this. I'm pretty damn sure there was something very similar to this in Ghostwire Tokyo. Oh crap, still needs to move. <laughs> Oh, there they are. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Find what? <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to find? Okay, I'm pressing. 
There we go. Oh, so now this appears to be completed, I think. The girl in this picture is Amelie. Let's see if any of these have changed. This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Where are you going? <sighs> yeah, that's right. Amelie. <laughs> What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Come closer then. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. I couldn't help myself. Feel free to stop by any time. You're always welcome. <laughs> Right, so we've seen Amelie. Ooh. The library. So I'm back at school. There's no beauty in any of this. by a witch.
Why do I have to be cursed like this? <laughs> Find what in a place like this? Right, are we looking for a specific book, maybe? Looks like there's space for a book here. Wait, I think I know these. Sounds like Resident <laughs> Evil now. <laughs> maybe a textbook? Yeah, I absolutely loved the first three Silent Hill games, especially number one, the original PlayStation. Such a good game. Which of the Far East? Right, let's move on. zoned. literally got a bag exactly like that. Is it locked? 
Is there something I don't want to see? Um, obviously, I don't know. I'm going to have to find the code. It won't open. Stab in the dark here. <laughs> Anything here? Just pressing different buttons just in case there's a zoom. Ah, it's R3, isn't it? Let's have a look. Maya's locker. No, it's not here. It wasn't here before either. Oh, nasty. Some razor blades in there. So, there's Maya and Amelie. Which... Pointing to Maya. <laughs> Obviously, that's supposed to be Supreme. Even though they copied it off an artist. Blatantly. So we need that. Ah. Two. One number. In what order, though? I have no idea. One. Okay. Zero, three. Right. Did they just appear? So, zero, three, one, two. We'll give that a go. Zero, three, one, two. I know what's inside. There we go. And I can't look away. Here it is. What's this letter? Was it inside the book? Remember when I said I wanted to live like a cherry blossom? To be beautiful and dignified for a fleeting moment. Simply by letting go of life. Daring to bloom, knowing it won't last. And so falling in vivid color. I wish I could live like that. I want to experience true beauty. If only for a moment. I met someone who made me feel different. He showed me a whole new world. Gave me hope. I honestly thought he could help me find a new me. I felt it with all my heart. But people didn't understand us. Didn't want that from us. In the end, they took my hope from me. They took him away. People... People who can't achieve beauty seek comfort in others. They fear anyone different. Hate them. Try to tear them down. I can't take much more of this. I wish you and I had... I wish you and I could run away together, Amelie. Just... me and you. Right, so Anita isn't gonna be happy. She was asking Amelie for help, but I just... <sighs> Maya, you have everything! You're way more talented than me! 
So why? Why take Amelie from me? You acted like I wasn't even there. Amelie is my friend. She's mine. Uh, I only wanted to take her down a bit. She she was taking Amelie away from me. She wouldn't pay attention to me. <sighs> How was I supposed to know she'd actually kill herself? <laughs> right, so it seems like Anita did something, obviously. It's kind of expecting that. <laughs> it would be, wouldn't it? Again, it's all your fault. Oh, here we go. Oh, so now we have pictures. These are pretty cool sections, though. Feels like I've just gone round in a circle. Oh, crap! <laughs> So, if it's still chasing me, I should be able to get down here now. There we go. Pretty intense. There we go. So it looks like we're heading back to the roof. Is it snow? I think it's film grain.
So, will the loop start again? Seems so. But I think we've woken up in a different room. I jumped off the building. Huh? Oh. Even if I die, this doesn't end. How many times do I have to go through this? So now the background has changed again. Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this. Not really much as in terms of a challenge. I don't know if those enemies can actually kill you if they catch up with you, I'm not sure. So I can go through that. Let's have a look around here. Nothing. Okay. Not quite sure what that is. More baby dolls. <laughs> no future. Okay, can't go in there. Can I not shimmy through? No, okay. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, I can't go through here. So, as you can hear, Anita is breathing quite heavily now. Silent Hill Phenomenon. Yeah, the original game was so damn foggy. <laughs> so hard to see anything. Same in the second, actually.
So yeah, I believe that they are making a remake of the original Silent Hill and number two. I could be wrong about the original. It could just be number two. And then they are bringing out a new Silent Hill game. So I'm looking forward to those. Please tell me in the comments section below what your favourite Silent Hill game is. If you're familiar with the series. This is weird. Me and my mom lived here. This is our living room. So yeah, the mirror doesn't work. <laughs> For me, it would have to be number one. I know a lot of people love number two, but I don't know. The atmosphere in number one just got me. I don't know. Maybe it was just the really bad low res pixel well kind of like pixely graphics of the ps1 just the style of the playstation graphics as well the game just seemed more airy whereas on the ps2 the second and third game it just didn't seem as scary i don't know there was a weird atmosphere in the first game I really want pizza now. <laughs> and the tank controls in the second game were awful. Something I really needed to get used to in that game. It took a while. It caused me to have a fair few deaths, put it that way. <laughs> So this is the bedroom. And it is good to have Konami back making video games. Seems like they've been gone for a fair while. I think the only thing that we get from them each year is just an updated PES or eFootball, I think it's called now. Cat ate pizza. <laughs> Oh, a drawing. I'm giving up my life for you. The face. So here's the living room again. Now it's filled with trash. I was going to say. Oh, 
There's a baby crying, and I don't think it's a doll this time. Stop. Okay. He was found dead today in a refrigerator, Jesus Christ. Bloody hell. seeing this room here in the villa I tried so hard to forget this place right oh the newspaper article I did actually yeah just read that I don't think there's anything else I think I've just read. Oh, hang on. It's pretty sick. Not in a good way. <laughs> I think that's meant to be Campbell's suit. I think I've just remembered those pieces of paper with Japanese writing on. Just stuck on the walls. Oh, look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a. Uh, Pretty damn fast. Oh, look at the phone. I really like what you drew me way back. This looks like Silent Hill 3.
Go, hey, up. go, 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 go. Come on. Where do we need to be? What are you hiding inside? Oh, crap. <laughs> I love the way they move. That's so freaky. Go through here. Nope. There they are again. Obviously, I need to find more of these pictures. Can't do anything with that, no. There we go. What's that? Oh, you like what you see? Let me out! Mom! Oh, nice. I need to go around because there was something on that table. Quick, 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 quick. You're way too hard on yourself. Guessing I'm looking for this. Hmm. Oh crap. That's locked. I'm gonna say, I thought I was looking for that door on the screen there, but could be wrong. That's locked or no. Here we go. Am I gonna be alone forever? So yeah, I was gonna say those pieces of paper that I originally thought were like eviction notices, but I believe that they had something similar, but um remember correctly they're called Ofuda I think Ofuda um, which is a kind of like a Buddhist talisman I believe they had them as weapons <laughs> in Ghostwire Tokyo um, but I, I remember them being also used for, for, for some reason as kind of like maybe cursed places actually places that were cursed or like so back in the plague, obviously, they would put, like, you know, like a cross on your door or something like that. Uh, so obviously all the people in the house had the plague. Um, maybe it was something like that to do with, like, um, maybe witches, something in folklore or something. I don't know. And um, they would put those little talismans on the door. Something like that, anyway. It, it might not be something to do with an eviction uh, notice, but something more to do to say, like, the house is cursed or something like that.
Indenburg. Wait. She killed herself half a year ago? And that means I've been here this whole time? What'll it take for you to forgive me? Please, end this. Just let me die. <laughs> Right, so, let's have a look. Is this... me? When did she draw this? I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Don't worry about what people think. Be proud. So, she did notice me. Okay. That's good, I guess. <laughs> right, so. Again, I need to know what company made this phone. <laughs> Very good battery. I think we're done in here. So this is back to normal. picture I drew. So these are like memories. I could have had a different life too. I guess someone finally did love me. You actually noticed me. I never thought you would. Emily, what should I do? Is the door, I think. Something tells me this time's going to be different. Thank you, Amelie. You were 
always there for me. I'm... I'm going to go apologize to Maya now. Wait! Anita! Calm down. Just listen to me. I just... Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. But I don't really mind. I just want someone to understand me. For those I love, and for those who love me, I want to keep moving forward and never look back to 18-year-old me. Wow. You know what? I really enjoyed that. That kept me hooked for well, pretty much the two hours that it ran for. What are we on now? One hour fifty, I think. Can't quite see there. But yeah, really good. And I like that it dealt with some more sensitive and deep and quite dark topics. And obviously, as I said earlier, not many video games deal with current topics Moving like day. this it feels kind of scary leaving my hometown but i'll be fine i have my best friend with me loneliness creeping to my skin mm. yeah because again a lot of games seem to deal with you know obviously well many different stories and different topics but not many seem to deal with stuff to do with like social media and the current things happening in our society you know like the way we're now starting to live and interact with each other socialize and what have you and now that we're pretty much living like a double life we've got our offline life and our online lives and uh we can be whoever we want to be really online but at the end of the day a lot of people still want to seek some kind of validation and um you know people want likes and clicks and views and what have you and if they don't get that it can be quite bad and not only that we look at everybody else's life online and we think that they're having the best time like their life is just perfect really it isn't always the case more often than not it isn't the case and um it makes us feel quite bad you know within ourselves but Not everybody's life is perfect, and I think we obviously all have our struggles and go through different stuff, but yeah, it's pretty cool that they actually tackled that. And it definitely fit this kind of length. I don't think it would have worked well as a big 
20 hour, 30 hour epic adventure or something like that. Again, not too challenging. I'm not quite sure if those enemies would have actually killed us or anything. It might have just reset us all. I don't know. Yeah, pretty cool. And if you are not familiar with the Silent Hill franchise, if you played this, because obviously there's no reason not to because it is free, so you might as well go and download it. If you did enjoy this, this will kind of get you into the franchise, so this will kind of act like an advertisement of sorts. And when any games come out in the future within the franchise, which there are going to be some soon over the next few years, then you might go and pick them up. So I think more devs should actually do this. Make like these little experiences which might get you into a franchise and then uh, hopefully you go and buy the games that come out in the future. And again, it's good to see Konami actually making some games again. I mean, I will never forgive them for pretty much destroying the Metal Gear Solid franchise. <laughs> but they are remaking the third game, and hopefully they bring out some more games in the future, but it's never going to be the same without Kojima. Apparently, his next game is going to be another tactical espionage kind of game, so I am looking forward to that. Yeah, the last 10 or 15 years for Bonami has mainly been focused on the pachinko parlors over in Japan and other parts of Asia, and mobile games as well. But yeah, hopefully they can come back strong, make some decent games again, because I used to love Konami games as a kid. Especially Turtles in Time, that was one of my favourites. But yeah, I enjoyed this, and if you did too, please drop a like, that will be most appreciated. And if you have not subbed to the channel already, please think about doing so, it will help out an awful lot, and look at that. Nice. And again, you know, if this helps anybody, then that's a good thing, I guess. Obviously, I'm not here to tell you what you need to do if you're going through something, but uh, all I can say is I hope that you get through it. That's all I can say, really. You know, so... So, yeah. Pretty dark. Dealt with some deep and sensitive topics. And some current issues as well, and I really like that. So yeah, awesome little experience there. I hope that you enjoyed this, and again, please drop a like if you liked it. And if you have not subbed to the channel, please think about doing so. Again, it will help out an awful lot. So have a good one, folks. This is your boy, Pixel Machine, signing out. Peace. I love you all. Have a good one. Bye-bye.